But I, I, I just – because I always wanted to play for Phil. He was so calm, and he was the only coach that, that he never really got up from his seat. He always sat down and, you know, he did the famous whistle or whatever. I just wanted to know, like, y'all were down – it's really two questions. One, how, how, how did it feel playing for uh, Phil Jackson? Well, playing for Phil was amazing. He was, an, I always idolized him as a kid. You know, like when I idolized, you know, uh, Michael Jordan and the Bulls. So playing for him, I was in my transition of therapy, lots of therapy, also transitioning into meditation. And then when I get with Phil, he embodies that. And the Zen master, and I'm learning holistic approaches on therapy, really getting into it. And just being, having a teacher like that every single day, meditating, lights off, shoot arounds, you know, breathing exercises, blocking out the noise, things like that. You know, Sage going through the locker room. Mm. That was the, the biggest takeaway I, I have uh, from Phil Jackson. And then even in the huddles, uh, I, you know, he was just so calm. Yeah, you know, I got a lot of great stories about him, you know, how calm he was in the huddles. Yeah, uh, in today the conversation around mental health with athletes is a lot more accepted. It's a lot more common. You see the the public service announcements that Kevin Love and Demar Derozan do. But you were the first pro athlete I remember to come out and you thank your therapist. Y'all won the, the championship. Was it, were you scared at all about being open about that thing, or, or what was the thought process? And why, if you weren't scared, why did it wait that long to be public about it? Well, I, well, I've been seeing therapists for a long time since I was 13 years old, every year, right? So when you get into the NBA, you don't want to tell anyone you've seen therapists. And my some of my family's on uh, medication. Some people in my family for medication. So I was really close to becoming, uh, you know, becoming a. Uh, uh, taking medication from psychiatrists. There's a difference between psychiatrists and psychologists. So in 1999, I wasn't telling nobody that I was having issues. I was just going to see therapists. And the NBA, they were, the Bulls was super involved in therapy, but they wasn't making it public because the media wasn't as sensitive to people that have issues. It was always, that guy's crazy. You know, this girl's crazy. And you don't want that type of backlash. Now the media says that, People, fans, citizens, they come down hard on media. You got so much more support. So in 2005, when, in six, when I was in Sacramento, I was actually already trying to talk about my story um, on YouTube because YouTube was, going, was getting hot at that time. But I didn't really understand how to you know, push content or whatever. So in 2010, it was a perfect platform for me you know, uh, to thank you know, someone you know, who's been so important to me and, you know, I don't think I would have been that calm in the playoffs if it wasn't for her. In game six, we won. I got a little anxiety. I called her, like, 10 o'clock she came uh, uh, the day before game seven. And we met that morning on game seven. And we talked. And I was like, I was afraid to get ejected. I was afraid that I was going to react in a, in, in a way that I don't want to. And I could be detrimental to the team. And all these thoughts is going through my mind because this is what happened every time I was in the playoffs. You know, so... Um, and then when we won something I always wanted as a kid, I know Perk, when you first won it, it must have been an amazing feeling. I mean, for me, it was just like, wow. I was just so excited that I was able to get my first ring. And I wanted to thank, you know, the, the people that was there for me. Mm. I mean, you really, as to Amin's point, you really started um, this movement to crack away at the stigma uh, of mental health. And it does seem like 2010 was such a, transformative year for you, not just um, on the basketball court, but, but personally. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.